Okay, let's go to. If you look at your ah, only two turn in the uh, the side task. So Iman and Shahib, but this is um, uh, answer from the textbook. Yes, the the, the slide. No problem. Um, anyone here upload the the figure? No. Eh? Uh, no, yeah, madam. You know? Still struggling to do uh, a bit lost. Yes. Yeah. Uh, no problem. If you have some, maybe you already draw something. You can uh, upload in the Telegram, the main WhatsApp group, um, the the main Telegram group. Okay, I don't really understand the slide that we watch. Okay, maybe because I can't see any writing. Oh, no writing. Eh? Mm. Ya Allah kasihan. But this is what I did for your exercise. I'm sorry, it's far from correct. Okay. Aduh. <laughs> sorry ya. Eh? Aduh, masalah betul. Mm. Okay, let's see your friend here. Hmm, kena pusing. Okay, tak apa. Tak faham. <laughs> Nanti sekejap. Kita tengok. Uh, let's look at our slide. Okay, this is a slide. Um, go to exercise 3.3. Anyone else who, who wants to upload your... Ah, ni. Okay, okay. Very good. Okay. Alright. Hmm, kita boleh... Boleh tulis atas ni. Okay, let me... How to download this photo eh? Oh, here. Yeah. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Download folder. You can see my screen, right? Brothers and sisters? Yes. Yes, yes. Alhamdulillah. Okay. Um, can I draw this? No. Which eh? one not draw this? this. Size copy. Back to back. Jaya, sorry. Okay, can you see this? Is it clear or uh, you cannot see it? Uh, I'm looking at the answer through my phone, madam. Oh, through phone. Okay. Because I want to write down something. Okay. Based on our, if you can see my, uh, our, my screen. Okay. I, I, I will just uh, look at your steps. Usually, if you give me, uh, when I give you a question, and then that's a secret, right? And normally for nodal an analysis, uh, the question always have the reference point already stated where to put the reference point. It, just in case there's no reference point and they ask you to use nodal analysis to solve the question, uh, please make sure you draw the reference point. Based on our PowerPoint slide just now, uh, that one, um, I explain where to put the reference point or the ground uh, part. It's usually at the uh, the, the bottom part, okay? With the most, uh, the most branches attached to one uh, node. We call it essential node, okay? So based on our essential node there, uh, we have this one, one, two, and three, right? This one attached to one single point, a reference point. So if you give me uh, the answer using a figure like this, <coughs> you redraw your your circuit and then uh, you you draw the uh, nodal part and uh, the reference point. I will give you marks on this point like this, and then I will check on the nodes you you put like this one. You have a V one. V2 and V3. Very good. 
uh, and then you have your current direction. I I always uh, try to find your current direction. It's better you draw where you want to put your current direction. In my class, I always have a horizontal branch to flow the current to flow from left side to the right side. So in in your friend's answer here, yes, he he or she he I think uh, already put it uh, the current direction to the right for horizontal. So there's a mark for that, and then uh, for vertical. Uh, from uh, from top to down. Okay. Okay. Semua boleh masuk eh? Okay. Right. <coughs> okay. Now, <coughs> next. Uh, this is just for figure. Figure sometimes I, I give two marks. If I found the, the most uh, uh, necessary part you, you're going to draw is the reference point and also reference point uh re reference point is actually the ground side here and then <coughs> and then number two is your notes you number your notes like v1 v2 v3 okay that's point number one uh, next you're going to figure out do you have any um, what we call that a super note based on the explanation in our class in in the video uh, a super note is when you have uh, a super note is when you have um, a voltage source a voltage source susah pula nak pakai pin a voltage source in between two unknown nodes like v1 and v2 uh, this voltage source can be independent source, independent or dependent. Dependent is the diamond shape. Okay, still remember, right? Can you see the my my figure or is it unclear? This is a voltage source, a dependent source in between two uh, unknown V1 or Vs or any unknown uh, thing. And then maybe you have some attached uh, branch in parallel with this uh, voltage source, independent or dependent. Then if this is a super node, then you need to draw the boundary. Draw the boundary around this uh, super node. Since we don't have any voltage source in our example here, okay, no voltage source, then automatically you don't have any no super node. Is it clear? Number one. Is it clear? Brothers and sisters? Yes. Okay. Yes, sure. Okay, number two, uh, go to step number five, which is uh, you you uh, build up KCL. So here, your friends here, uh, he already put it out, put it out all the unknown nodes because what is your aim? Aim in our uh, node analysis is to find the unknown node value. Okay, this is our uh, our main concern. So, how many unknown nodes we have here? Anyone can figure out how many unknown nodes? V one, then V two, V three, V two and V three. Yes, very good. So, I will look at your three equation, and usually I will look at what you write like this: KCL at V two. This is number one, and then KCL at V3 here, yeah. And then the first one here. So that's three equation, very good here. And then I will look at your, of course, your equation. Mm, okay, we go to the, the first equation. Since this is a current source, and then we have V1 to V3. Oh, good job. Mm. Uh, this part, in my video, uh, I wrote, I. I ask you to properly draw, redraw. Uh, please draw it cor correctly. Saya rasa ni betul ni. Ah, ya, betul, betul. Sorry, ya, sebab saya tak nampak. This is 4, so this is correct because this is V3 and this is 4. So, yeah, correct. And this is 2 
and with the current direction. So current entering should be equal to current leaving. So this is KCL at V1. So you should have a three equal to, um, because since other, other current is going up, so you have IX plus uh, I1. Mm. And this is your friend's equation. This is three amps, and then you have a V1. This is a V1 minus V2 uh, divided by two. You apply what? Ohm's law. So this is number two. And on your right side here, you have V1 minus V3 divided by four. So uh, I will look, look at your first equation like this. If you give me right, then usually I will give you 1.5 here. Uh, I wouldn't, um, usually I will skip this part because sometimes students will tend to make mistake here. So if you, let's say you don't have time in your exam, what should you do? You give me the, the most crucial part. What is the most crucial part? Uh, it's your, uh, all the equation that you have. Uh, meaning to say you can skip your time, just give me uh, the the most valid answer I want to see, like this equation, number one. And then uh, number two, KCL at V3. Okay, KCL at V3 is here. So you take out this. It's, it's either you you do, do not want to take out or you you take out. Uh, doesn't matter as long as you do understand what you, you are doing. This one, if you take out, then you will spend some time. If you leave it as it is, then you will um, save your time. And then, but make sure you know how you do. All right. And number two, at junction V3, you have two IS. Two IS is your current source, a dependent current source that depends on the unknown of IS that exists elsewhere in the circuit. Where? At D. Where is that thing? This one. IS is here. Uh, it's it's uh, flowing through two ohms. So, uh, okay, based on that, you need to find the, the value first and then you get the answer. Okay, so here you have, uh, okay, let's look at your equation. Uh, current in enter, uh, just, okay, I'm recording this. Current enter should be equal to current leaving, which is I1, uh, look at here. I1 and then plus 2IS. Ni macam mana boleh dapat 2IS? Yeah, is my, let's look at, oh, I think uh, our brother here just put the answer as 2IS, I think. So, okay. Oh, maybe because he didn't specify the current direction for 8 ohms. 8 ohms? Mana 8 ohms? Uh, it ohms. Oh, this two, this one is not two is, brother. This one is not two is. I think maybe you put it as a two is. I don't think the question give you that one answer. Two is no. Ah uh, no. The uh, the question here only give you. Uh, wait, I draw something. If you look at here. Uh, this is a V3 node. Okay. And then we have over here current flowing like this. Over here, here. And then here going down. So what you, you do, you have, um, maybe I name this one as a IA. And this is IB. And this is 2IS. Where I get the 2IS coming from here. So what is this point KCL at V3 is equal to, um, current enter should be equal to current leaving. So IA plus IB equal to 2IS. And then what is IA? IA is since this node attached to this four ohms, and this is the leaving node. So you have a, jangan ada orang nak masuk. Okay. Okay. Then uh, we have this is a current enter a passive element. 
you have a positive and this is minus. So the higher in polarity, which is, this is higher polarity attached to this V1 node. So V1 minus with low in polarity attached to V3 node, minus V3 divided by the resistor value 4. Plus, what is IB? IB is at here flowing through 8 ohms. So you have V2 minus with V3 here, minus V3 divided by uh, 8 ohms. How do I know V2 minus V3? Because the current direction tells you what? Passive sign convention. Current entering 8 ohms, the passive element, should have a positive here. And this one should be a negative. So higher in polarity, which is V2, minus with low in polarity, which is V3, divided by 8 ohms. So that's why you have this. And equal to 2 Is. Uh, 2 Is. But you need to know what is Is value. Is is equal to, look at where is your Is. Is exists as well in the circuit, which is at here. Okay, at here. So Is equal to V1 minus V2 divided by 2. Do you agree or not? Brothers and sister, this is Ohm's law. Ohm's law. And then you just substitute. Studio with them. Oh, Alhamdulillah. At least I know you will wake up. <laughs> okay. And this one cross cross, and you can simplify this by multiplying with maybe 8. And then you have 2v1 minus 2v3 plus v2 minus v3 equal to v1 minus v2. And then, Madam, yes. Uh, nak tanya, uh, hmm. uh, yang kan kan ix equals to v1 tolak v2 over 2. Kalau v2 tu dekat depan, so jadi v2 tolak v1 over 2, salah ya? Eh, kejap-kejap. Mana yang awak refer? Uh, yang untuk cari ix. Nak cari ix where, oh, oh okay. Uh -huh. V1 ke depan. Uh, why, uh, why V1 in front and not V2, right? So, uh, if you look at, this is your 2 ohms, and then this is your V1 node, and this is V2 node. And then, you know that Is is flowing this direction. And since we know passive sign convention says that, what? Uh, a current, this is Is, current, flowing into a passive element should have positive polarity and leaving current should have a negative polarity and based on your uh, ohm's law you have a voltage divided by r right so higher in polarity should be minus with higher in polarity minus with low in polarity which is v1 minus v2 should be divided with this resistor so that's why you have a V1 in front, not the V2. Mm. Just follow the, the normal passive sign convention. Okay, go back to your passive sign convention. That's why in your in the uh, the this PowerPoint slide show, I I mentioned something about passive sign convention. You need to follow passive sign convention in any direction you made. Uh, it's okay to put anywhere. In my class, I always put this way, right? Uh, if for, for ohms here, going down. But if you want to make it going up, also can. No problem. But for passive sign convention, it says that here is positive, negative here. If you follow this direction, then you obey your passive sign convention. And that's no problem. Kalau yang problem, kalau masalah if you... If you didn't follow the passive convention, then you will make mistake. Mm. And then don't simply change your current direction. Just stick with one direction. To the right, right. And then to going down, down. Okay. Faham, Madam. Alhamdulillah. Okay. So now simplify this part. You have a minus 3 V3. And then equal to 0 here. And V2 take this to here. And then you have... Uh, two V1 here, right? Okay, this is second equation. And the third equation, you follow your friends here. Start now.
Okay. Okay. I hope it's clear. Uh, yes. Yang uh, for V3, mm -hmm. all of the equation times by 8, right? Uh, times by 8. This uh, one. For, for V3. V3. Ah, yeah. Uh -huh. ah, oh, times by 8. Uh -uh. Oh, I made a mistake. Eh, jat, jat, jat. Uh -uh, betul, betul. It, it is supposed to be 8 V1, right? Uh -uh, here 8, eh? Oh. Right, both sides. So this is wrong, eh? Uh, yeah, wrong. So you guys uh, carilah jawapan dia apa. Dia tak boleh padam. Sorry. Boleh pula dia tak boleh padam. Hmm. Okay, nak. Uh, okay, nak boleh. This is time 8. So this one cross right and then times 8 so it should have 8 here and 8 here. Okay and um, buat lah. Uh, done. Yang lain tu also okay. Hmm. So you will have here apa? 2, 8, mm, minus 6, B1. And then you have 3, 3, ni betul. And then you have 8 with 1. So you have a 9, B2. Is it correct? Correct, right? Oh, yes. Kalau Madam buat tu betul lah tu, Madam. <laughs> you cannot. You you need to check also. Setuju, uh, setuju. Jangan main setuju. Nanti kita tak dapat jawapan ni, ha. Semua nangis. Okay. Then last uh, our V3. V3 done. V1 done. Okay, V2. The last part here. Your friends, where is V2? In the middle. So you have 2, 8 and 4 there. Eh? Just to make sure that you follow that. Alright. Okay, now you have Ix equal to hmm. Don't simply give name as you wish. This is I X. Uh, it's actually not I X because why? Because this this one yes correct I X branch out to one side here and another side here. Okay. So if you write down the same as this one, you claim that both are same. So make sure you don't put that. Uh, even though this is uh not correct, incorrect, but uh, your equation here uh it seems correct. So let me check. V1 minus V2 divided by 2. Yes, this is correct. And second, V2 minus 0 divided by 4. Yes, correct. And V2 minus V3 divided by 8. Yes, this is correct. Tapi yang ni apa ni? Ha, this one is wrong. Because why? Because you put the uh, your the, the the name as you wish. Uh, I don't think they give you that, right? If you look at your... Hmm, tengok ni, kat sini. There's no 2 IX here. Do you have 2 IX here? No, right? Hmm. It's just a claim that uh, that one is 2 IX. But this one is not 2 IX. This is wrong. Why? Because 2 IX is at this part. This part only. And it's actually coming from this part plus this part. So you have a 2 ix at this junction. Hmm. So uh, this 8 ohms, you have another current. Current going into uh, 2 ix here. So you write down another name that will save you. Maybe this is i, k, i, something else. So you don't make mistake like this. This is wrong. Hmm. And then, okay, let me give you the correct answer. Uh, it's supposed to have, hmm, let me erase this part. So V2. Allah. Remove first, okay. Okay, at V2, we have, um, this is Ix. One here and another here. Maybe I4 and I5. 
then KCL at V2 is equal to V1 minus V2 over 2 is coming from this. And this junction, the I4 is equal to uh, V2 minus V3 divided by 8. And plus, and this one coming from this junction, and this part is equal to V2 minus 0 divided by 4. How do you know? You follow passive sign convention by looking at what? Current direction. That's why current direction is very important. Don't skip the part. And then please make sure you name it correct. Uh, correct uh, name. So you have like, this is I4. And you know current flowing into passive sign should have a positive here. And leaving will be a negative. So you have this equation. And you can simplify this by uh, maybe multiply by 8. Multiply by 8 and you will have this is 4v1 minus 4v2 equal to v2 minus v3 plus 2v2. And further simplify this, you have 3 with 7v2 here and minus v3 and minus 4v1. And you have a equal to 0. So this is our third equation. So far, so good. Or do you have any any question? Brothers and sister, well, maybe so you, uh, maybe I, I did. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe I did some mistake. No, right? Mm, I think so. No. Okay. How how do we? Hmm. Alamak, saya dah padang equation tadi. What is our second equation? Can someone tell? Because I want to show you how to use calculator. <laughs> Kau tak ada? Kalau tak ada, kita go back to our our last example so that um, or do do I need to skip the the calculator, how to use calculator because I assume you guys know how to use it. Cuba tengok, this converting to mp4 file still still in the middle down here if you can look at my powerpoint here okay do do i do i need to skip the calculator because i i have the calculator here <laughs> but hmm. oh. uh -uh. okay yeah up to you we can discuss our next example if you want to skip something hmm. or don't skip S skip right Okay, because this one I already explained, but there's no calculator to show you. Uh, it's just that I know you got you guys know how to use it. <laughs> okay, anyone submit the next? Eh, silap, silap group. Sorry, sorry. We look at this. Tak ada orang eh? Bagi another, another. Tak ada. Alright, no. Still tengah buat video. So, mashallah. That's good. Hmm. Cause uh, any anybody try practice problem? Uh, page twelve. This page? Not yet. Not yet, madam. Okay. I think most majority of you try practice three point three, right? Uh. So any question up until now? So do we have any super note in our circuit here? No, madam. No. So no. do not clean the supernode if there is none. If there is, then you need to draw the boundary. Uh, uh, can I leave this practice 3.3 for you guys to try at, um, at your convenience room? And maybe yes, we madam. go to our, uh, because we still have time, like fifth, um, less than 15 minutes. Eh, bukan. Hmm. Five minutes, much too kind. So, can I go to practice this practice? Okay, let's try uh, uh, together. Okay, where is our reference point? Fifty volt, seventy-eight ohm. Bawah uh, Bawah. At the bottom. Mm. Bottom, right? This is our mm -hmm. reference point. Reference point always have a ground zero. 
So you, why, why we put it here? Because this is with the most branches. This node, let me draw this node, is with the most branches. Branch number 78 ohms, 39 ohm, 30, 10, and 50 volt. So we have four, eh, five, five branches connected at this point. So you draw your reference point. Second, where is the 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 other um, nodes? Other nodes. How many other nodes what we have like in here? Three. Uh, how many? Three. Mm, three. Four. Oh, yeah, three. Three. Yeah. So we have uh, okay. over here left side, right? And then we have here, and then here. So you can name it. So uh, which one with a value? Uh, in order to name this node, these three nodes, you need to figure out, uh, is there any value at this node? If there is a value, then you can give that value as your name, the node name. If no, then you put unknown variable like VA, VB, V1, V2, VS, VY, any, any value. Or you follow like your information here you have a v delta right v delta here so what is this node what do you think v delta mm, yeah good so this is a v delta the whole thing here is a v delta okay very good and then the uh the middle node what do you think the middle node name v delta over five mm, okay if you claim it like that you, you want to really draw this thing. If you claim this is a V delta over 5, and you know that this is a V delta, and maybe you put some V1 first. Uh, in order to do as your claim, uh, you need to apply the high in polarity minus with low polarity equal to the value of your source. The so value of your source is V delta divided by 5. So do you have this uh, V1 equal to that value? If you rearrange that, you have uh, this one plus V delta. So it's complicated if, if you put it this way. So might as well you put just just a unknown verb, uh, name like V1. So you don't need to figure out what is this value equal to, right? So you just, uh, okay, do not put this way. No need because it's too long. It's complicated. So just put a, a name, unknown name. So far so good. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So, uh, if, if you want to claim as you, you like, much um, just now, uh, B delta over five here, this one should be connected to the ground. V1, higher polarity, minus with the zero, low in polarity, equal to the value. Then V1 is equal to V delta over five. But since we don't claim this, uh, this node as a reference point, then we cannot put that one as a zero. No zero here, okay? So you cannot claim V1 equal to this V delta divided by five. So obviously this is uh, wrong. So you just name a V1 here. Okay, let me erase all this. Uh, you can go back to your recorded uh, recorded video today, no problem. Nanti I will upload. Right, last note on the left side. What is this note? 50. 50. Okay. How do you know? Because the value, mm, value which attached to ground. Notice. Yeah, it must attach to ground so that you can claim this node as a 50 as the value. Mm. All right, that's good. Um, do we have a, any super node here? The V delta over 5 is a super node. Yes, of course. So you should draw what? Barrier. Yeah, a barrier or boundary. So boundary at this point. Any branch attached to it. So you need to draw the uh, boundary. 
And then what should you have? If this is a super node, what should you do? Just do apply KVL. Mm, KCL and KCL. KVL and that's super node. So what is the KVL at this super node? By just looking at here. You can take out this is a dependent source, which is equal to V delta over five. And this is V1, and this is V delta. So what is KVL at this super node? What is that? Higher in polarity equal to what? Higher in polarity minus V. Minus lower in polarity. Mm -mm. V1 minus V delta, v delta equal to what? Equal to? The v delta over 5. Yes, the value, right. Mm -hmm. So this is your KVL at the super node. What about KCL? Yes, this one you can have, uh, figure out current direction. Okay, and then how many? Maybe I put this one as I2, I3, I4, and I5. So you, you need to consider all. Boundary, uh, all currents entering should be equal to all current leaving the boundary. So you have I2 plus, you know, no, equal to, but you're lying all leaving. So you have I2, eh, sorry, this is I3. This is I3. Uh, I'm writing this um, using the, because I cannot bend this uh, laptop. Jadi macam tulisan memang teruk lah. I4 plus I5. Oh. Okay. And then you apply Ohm's law, you have 50 minus P1 divided by 10. Sorry. This is 10 equal to I3. V1 divided by 30 plus I4. V delta divided by 39 and then in fact these two you can combine tapi tak apa saya buat salah satu plus V delta divided by 78 why can combine because both are with the same node same node mm, same node so you can combine a parallel rules what is a parallel rules 39 parallel with 78 you see your calculator and then you get the answer you can Simplify this part. Hmm. Okay, and then you you have multiply with something. So it's about this is not a friendly value. You can figure out yourself what is the uh, the value. Then you can multiply with that so that you can simplify your equation. I think the rest. Uh, okay, what is your aim? V delta. V delta oh, and and. V1. V1. All the unknown nodes. So just find the unknown nodes. So it's just that you, you apply super node and you have to come up with KCL and KVL. Then you finish. You you can find the V delta. Okay. Even though, yeah, I know the, the question asks you to solve for V delta. But since uh, if you're going to apply both, you need to know both unknown, right? So... This and this. All right. With that, uh, can we conclude before uh, before that? Maybe any one of you who wants to ask something. Any question? Brothers and sisters. Uh, so far, no, madam. Uh, um, so far. Uh, Okay, okay. All right. Uh, all right. Kalau ada apa-apa, uh, I think you try first this one. Uh, if you still have problem, then we discuss later, inshallah. Okay, we close our class with Tasbih Kapara and Suratu Al-As. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika shada Allah ilaha illa anta astagiru kawatu bilai. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim.